Today's lesson, we are going to solve exponential equations by using logarithms. A typical sum would look like this. Solve x, and then I give you an exponential equation. Let's look at our first example. These examples are not on your notes. 2 to the power of x equals 3. Now you can either use the definition to say 2 to the power of 3 of log 3 base 2 equals x and then type it in in your calculator. But I'm going to show you a different way that you can use to solve x in this equation. The first thing that you do is, we are going to put in logs. So a log in front and a log in front. Then I'm going to use one of the laws saying if you have an exponent, it goes to the front of the log. So x log 2 equals log 3. I want to solve x, so I must get x alone. Then I'm going to divide by log 2 on the left hand side. And what you do on the left, you must do on the right as well. So these two cancel out. And we have x equals log 3 over log 2. Now get your calculator. Log 3 doesn't have a base, so I'm going to use this log, the one without the base. And log 2 doesn't have a base, so I'm going to use log without the base. But it's a fraction, so we start with block over block. Then you type in at the numerator, log 3, close the bracket over log 2 plus the bracket equals 1 comma 5 8 4 9 6 etc. We want three decimals so now we have to round it off 1 comma 5 8 5. Let's look at another one. You can do that, but you... Um, okay, let's do that one. You can either say log base 2 of 3 equals x. And now you type, you use that log because we have a base. And there you say 2. In the bracket we have 3 equals the same answer. Okay. I wanted to show you this method where you insert the logs because you're going to use that a lot further on in the year. My x in the second sum is in the exponent. 
So to get x alone, to solve x, we must first get rid of this 25. Divide by 25, divide by 25. And then we have 1, 245 to the power of x plus 7 equals 12. Now let's insert our logs. Log of that equals log of that. I have a log with an exponent, so the exponent goes in front of the log. Put it in brackets. x plus 7 log of 1, 245 equals log 12. I want x plus 7 alone, so divide both sides with log 1, 245, log 1, 245. I cancel out, and x plus 7 equals log 12 over log 1, 245. We want the x alone. So take the 7 to the other side of the equal sign. x equals, if you type that in, you will get 11, 340 minus 7. So x will be equal to 4,340. They specifically stated that it should be three decimals, so you must put in three decimals. Our next example. is to show you that you also can use logs in number patterns. They say that we have a series, 5 plus 10 plus 20. What is a series? A series has pluses. And they want you to calculate the value for n, the, the term number, for which the sum of this series of n terms is less than 2,000. So my sum will be 2,000 or less. We always start with what is A. And then I can see that I have to multiply with 2 every time. So my R will be 2. We are using the sum, so I use the sum formula. The sum formula for which includes the A and the R, geometrical series. <coughs> now we substitute. Sn is 2000 equals A is 5 times R is 2 to the power of N minus 1 over R is 2 minus 1. So 2,000 equals 5 times 2 to the power of n minus 1. 
2 minus 1 is 1, and anything divided by 1 is just the numerator. I want to get rid of the 5 because I want to solve n. Divide by 5, both sides. 5's cancel out. And I get 400 equals 2 to the power of n minus 1. Take this minus 1 over to the left hand side. So it becomes a plus 1. And then we have 401 equals 2 to the power of n. I'm going to insert my logs. So the log of 401 equals the log of 2 to the power of n. Take this n to the front. Log 401 equals n times log 2. I want to solve n, so I'm going to divide with log 2. Both sides. And n will be log 401 divide by log 2. And then you get 8 comma 4, 7, 4, 5, 8, 4, etc. What we calculated here is if the sum is 2000. But we want n less than 2000. So n will be N will be eight. Yeah. Is it not that? Okay. So one. Six four blah blah blah. If the sum is two thousand, but the series must be less than two thousand. So what is what is the first term number less than eight comma six four seven? Eight. So n will be equal to eight because n must be an element of natural numbers. We are also going to use logarithms in finances on the next topic. So make sure that you understand logs because they come in functions and finances and number patterns. Yes. It means that n, the number of terms, must be 8 plus something. Oh. So just less than 2,000 means it must be 8. Okay. 